Well, hi there, Jose Quinones, the CNC dude here with uh, another cool project. Today we're gonna talk about how to fix your coolant line if you ever need to. Let me give you a little background though. Uh, the reason why I am having to trouble myself with something of this simple nature is because when I acquired the second Tormac, it came without without this hose. So um, I thought, well, no problem. I know I know Tormac sells these uh, these items, so it's just a matter of buying one and getting this done. Uh, so I just went online and for like something, man, it's less than five dollars for something. I got this guy in. Um, the problem, however, is um, that when I got this and um, I tried putting them together, they don't go in. Let me show you. So here's the little piece uh, that was uh, basically available on my machine, my second Tormek, and this is the same that I have on my first Tormek, so basically a Series 2. I imagine Series 1 and Series 2 had this form factor, and of course they don't go in. What's going on here? Well, later I learned, I learned that Tormek changed their form factor, because apparently this is more of a, an industry standard, and uh, you can do all sorts of cool things, like um, adding different files of uh, connectors and props and creating your own jet streams and stuff. Uh, so clearly, I think that was a good move. Now, you can basically remove this guy and with an adapter, uh, attach these two guys together like this, okay? So I tried that and I didn't work. Um, there was a lot of leaking here and I'm thinking maybe I need Teflon or something. But, uh, you know, I am not a, a, a chemical engineer, I'm not a, a, a chemist, so I'm not certain how this coolant is going to react with this Teflon and what kind of nonsense I'm gonna get. Maybe there are some uh, poisonous fumes coming out. I don't know, you know, and most likely there is nothing nothing happens but the truth is that the solution is much cheaper than that all you have to do is buy a kit that Tormac sells um, for like $18 and it brings the hose and the adapter and, and, and that's the cleanest solution and then now you can use everything and you are you're basically back to what the uh, latest Tormax um, uh, come with so let me show you that so I just got this on the mail. This is part number 33068, 33068. And this comes with the uh, metal piece that, that interfaces with your coolant hose and it has the right, the right diameter, um, or the right pitch, I should say, for, the, for this guy. So now I have more, more hoses, but that's great because now I can have multiple hoses and that is fantastic. Uh, so I bought two kits because I'm going to retrofit both of my machines. Now on machine two, I do not plan on using coolant. By the way, machine two, the goal is to sell it. Uh, so I'm trying to bring it back to life as much as possible. Um, uh, but right now, if I if I decide to use it, I cannot use coolant because I don't have a space to put uh, the splash guards. So. Right now I'm thinking I'm going to bring it back to life as much as possible in case I decide to sell it. But to be honest, I'm having a hard time selling it because it's looking so freaking good. It's looking so much better than my other machine. So it's kind of, it's like a pain on my heart to see it go. But anyway, this is the trick. Uh, this is what you need to get if you want to change your, uh, your hose to the new style. Because as it turns out, if you only buy the hose and you have the old style, it's not going to work. They're not going to, to interface. Um, I actually had to contact Tormac and saying, hey guys, I bought this and it doesn't work, what's going on? And they pointed, they pointed me to this kit, to part number 33068. So uh, that's kind of a bummer that if you go into their website, you're not going to easily find this. Um, so, but now you know that 33068 is the part number that you're looking for instead of whatever this is by itself, uh, which came like this. This is how that guy comes, okay? 
and uh, this is how that guy comes the other the, the one that sells for five bucks um, but this is not gonna work if you have this part now you could make your own I mean let's face it we're freaking machinists or at least hobby machinists here and if you have a lathe this should not be this is not hard to make come on it's really not hard to make the reason why I didn't make it is because if I am if I'm gonna sell this machine um, I want it to look as, as 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 new as possible or at least as decent as possible uh, because I know that people out there are gonna try to buy it from me and they're gonna ask how much money I'm gonna give them as in I get the machine from you but you know you have to like send my kids to college you have to buy me a Ferrari and it's like crap I thought I was uh, I was gonna make money here so I'm gonna try to bring this machine to life as much as possible okay and uh, then for all of these other parts you can get kit 33215 33215 which I believe has come with this guy because <laughs> putting this puppies in is not gonna be easy now you can basically make whatever you want out of this and then if you want to put it together or if you want to put I don't know let's say you want to put something like this then you get your um, a little thingy here this is not working as I thought okay how about that let's try this BAM now now I can make a Y let's give this a try here I think I got it backwards it's not like I practiced this guys, I didn't practice. But here we go. Now I can take the other one and you know I can make a Y. It's like Legos for adults. And I actually enjoy playing with my kids Legos a lot. But um, why not take coolant pumping into Lego World? Okay, and now we can put another another one of these guys. Look at that! This is looking awesome. Yeah, you can use this to take showers too. Um, I can think of so many places where this could uh, reach with a good stream of water. That's the porn portion of this video. And now I can do this guy here. Uh, but you, you get the idea here, okay? No, I mean, no need to... No need to uh, spend too much time. This looks like one of those guys that I could use to search for water. Look, there's it's like a pond of water below my feet. If I only believe in that junk. Okay, so... Um, that's the deal nothing major here basically you change this part you put your new hose and you're back in business um, man if you don't know how to do that uh, perhaps you should look for a, a different hobby I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna record just the, the end because I mean it's, it's one screw away so it's really not even that hard so let's go to the machine and see how to do it but really I mean it's a piece of cake here's the old part just one screw Take it off. Put the new one. And you know there are four flats in here, so choose whichever whichever feels the better. Of course you want this guy out. And there we go. I was actually screwing the screw into the round part, not the square. So it wasn't going. And now we can change the this guy. You know, you can do this by hand and uh, because there is a, a seal, it will work nicely. And there will be no leaks from this part. So I never got leaks from this side. I got leaks from this side. I don't know why. I'm not going to try uh, the coolant now, first of all, because I have already removed all of the coolant. So that test is gonna be done. Uh, it's gonna be done after. 
but I, I don't see why why it wouldn't work. Um, actually, I am going to do this on my other machine, so let's take a look at it working on the second machine, on the first machine. This is the second machine, which is the new one. All right, I have changed the um, the system. Man, it took minutes. It's really, it's really not hard. So I'm bringing up Mac 3 and we're going to turn the coolant on on this machine. And we're going to see what happens. Hopefully I don't splash the, the heck out of me. Actually, before I do that, let's, let's put it there. This could be one of those things that turns out to be really funny. Depending on where the coolant splashes to hell. Perhaps if I open it. Yep. This. How about if I tighten it first? Let me do that off camera. Ah, don't you love it when you make ridiculous mistakes on camera? Well, it's working now. Uh, definitely, uh, it needed a little bit of cranking. There is a little bit of a leak here. Not to worry about that. I can also try to crank it. I'm actually intrigued as to why this is not as powerful as I thought it was gonna be. But you know what, I think it's enough. Um, I'm not trying to fill up a pool here, so well, I don't know. It looks it looks okay. I may just end up using one stream instead of two because at the end uh, it's not like I'm machining here uh, a lot of stuff. I'm actually intrigued. Why does it look so flimsy? Oh well, no biggie. Well, there you go. That's how you change from the old style to the new style. If you need to do that, um, uh, the coupling didn't work for me. Maybe if you know what kind of a, a detament you need to use uh, that is safe and non-toxic and all that jazz, then you can go with that. Um, I just decided to pay, you know, it was like 18 bucks. Um, by the way, on shipping, I'm uh, happily to report that uh, the uh, the the mail the mailbox USPS uh, the box office did you say it's not the mailbox the box office USPS the postal service uh, was uh, way quicker than UPS ground like uh, if I want something before the weekend with UPS ground I have to place my order on Monday um, this order I placed on Tuesday and I got it on Thursday so from now on I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try the the USPS uh, with Tormac uh, more often because um, ground just takes too long and of course if I order on Wednesday and they cannot deliver on Friday I can get a delivery on, on Saturday so that is always good because on Saturday afternoon if I get a box I still have half a weekend to work and I'm a weekend machinist so I really don't have uh, like if I get the stuff on Monday now I have to wait a whole freaking week to use it, so that's kind of a uh, very annoying. All right, um, enough coolant here. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel, and uh, more more videos to come on how I am uh, refurbishing the second Tormac. Uh, so keep tuned. See you on the next one.